Recently, Chicago Fed President Charles Evans said rate hikes will continue even if they lead to job losses. This statement, which we will visit in just a moment, comes just after researchers for the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas published new findings that calculated real wages or the effective income of workers when adjusted for inflation. And the statement by the Fed says, and I quote, we find that a majority of employed workers real wages adjusted for inflation have failed to keep up with inflation in the past year, end quote. Well, no joke. For these workers, the median decline in real wages is a little more than 8.5%, and taken together, these outcomes appear to be the most severe faced by employed workers over the past 25 years, the researchers added. Higher inflation can quickly erode the purchasing power of Americans if wage growth does not match the increases. That means households will face a difficult financial crunch when attempting to pay for daily necessities such as food, rent, and gas things we need to live. This is consistent with what was reported in September, where the average American needed an annual wage increase, check this out, of $11,500 just to keep up with Joe Biden's inflation. The Biden economy is a disaster, and based on Fed President Charles Evans' statement, it will only get worse. Well, that's great news. The Fed now admits it needs to increase unemployment to take money out of the economy and lower inflation. Increasing unemployment is a key step in the Fed's battle to lower inflation. So check out the video above for more information or wait to the end of this video. Hello and welcome to Ask the Lender. This is your go-to channel to stay up to date with the economy, the housing market, interest rates, as well as learn little known strategies to building wealth and paying less money in taxes. Who doesn't wanna do that? So if this is your first time here, a big welcome to the community. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button and smash that bell right there to get notified when I post more helpful content. Also, do the channel a huge favor and like this video and share a comment to let the algorithm know that this content should be seen by more people just like you. Moving on, the inflation numbers are not fantasy or make-believe. Just ask any American, your neighbor, your coworker, how much it costs to dine out. Just yesterday, I purchased a six inch sub, curly fries and an unsweet tea, and guess what? My check came to a total of $19.93, and the price of this might have been half of that amount just a year ago. So what a total crap show the Biden administration has created in such a short period of time. Make sure to stick around to the end when I share what JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon says a recession will hit. But before I share Charles Evans statement, let me first say that I am not a financial advisor and my opinions are just that. They're mine. They're not shared by any company that I'm affiliated with. I'm also a licensed loan originator and I hold a life health and annuities license. So if you or someone you know are in the market to buy or sell a home, we should talk. And if you see money disappearing from your 401k, just like everyone else, and you are seeking a less risky method to grow your money, also reach out and let's talk. Jumping right in, here's a statement from Chicago Fed President, and I quote, if unemployment goes up, that's unfortunate. If it goes up a lot, that's really very difficult. But price stability makes the future better end quote. What an ass. It's going to be tough, guys. Trust me. This statement comes just three weeks before the Fed's next meeting, where they are expected to raise interest rates again by another three quarter percentage points. Evans also suggested that job losses were an acceptable circumstance. Well, I think he should lose his job. How about you? The tone of central banks has changed in recent months from one of soft landings and protecting stock markets to one of sacrifice in the name of bringing inflation down to 2%. Of course, it will be you and I, the general public, making the sacrifices and paying this bill regardless. So if the Fed does not raise rates or continues on with quantitative easing measure, then price inflation will skyrocket further and crush consumer buying power and savings. On the other side, if they continue to raise interest rates, then stocks will continue to fall and credit markets will tighten, leading to mass layoffs and rising unemployment. It's kind of a catch-22 that the central bankers created through years of stimulus measures and artificially propping up too-big-to-fail 
corporations. The comments by Evans come only a few days after Bank of England Deputy Governor Dave Ramsden announced that the Bank of England would stay the course and continue rate hikes despite a recent intervention in gilts and pension funds. The Dutch Central Bank has also stated that the European Central Bank will march forward with rate hikes and even hinted that these rate hikes may go higher than markets expect. This language suggests that a long-awaited central bank pivot away from tightening and back to quantitative easing is not coming anytime soon. And with inflation rates still holding, or in some cases still climbing, bringing inflation back down to a 2% target will take much longer than bank officials initially let on. Ultimately, considerable job losses would be needed in order to pressure manufacturing and wholesale costs back down to earth. Numerous companies have indicated that layoffs are about to begin this winter, but that's a lot of pain for markets to endure in the meantime. Another issue is the lack of a clear plan to rebuild the economy after deflation targets are actually achieved. That's because Joe Biden too busy in his basement eating ice cream and pooping his pants. And his administration is far more concerned with climate change and less than one degree Celsius warming in the past century than he is interested in protecting US jobs or preventing energy inflation. And his Build Back Better scheme, also known as Build Back Broke, also exasperates the inflation problem with more government spending, which would require the central bank printing more money, which again leads to more inflation. So it would appear that central banks and Western governments are intent on crashing the system and they are offering no practical solutions to the consequences that will result. So when can we expect the Fed and the media to come clean and announce that we are in fact in a recession? Well, good luck with that because many people, myself included, believe that we already are in a recession. And since everything is political and this current administration is sheltered by the mainstream media, it most likely will not be announced until after the November elections. Just recently, Jamie Dimon, JP Morgan CEO said the S&P could shed another 20% and he warns of a recession in six to nine months. He went on to warn that while the U.S. economy is, and I quote, he said this, actually still doing well, end quote, it's not. He says it is at the moment. He says there are very, very serious things which I think are likely to push the U.S. and the world into a recession. He goes on to say, I mean, Europe is already in a recession and they're likely to put the U.S. in some kind of a recession six to nine months from now. But what a crack of bullshit. Only the rich global elite are not feeling the pain at the gas pumps and grocery stores. Demon said that while the Fed raised, it waited too long and did too little. That the central bank is clearly catching up. So how long might a recession last, according to Demon? He stated it can go from very mild to quite hard, and a lot will be reliant on what happens with this war. I think to guess is hard. He says to be prepared and adding that the one thing he could be sure of was market volatility. Demon also suggested that the S&P 500 could fall by another 20% from current levels, adding that the next 20% would be much more painful than the first. So if you lost money in the markets during the 2008-2010 crisis, you are like most Americans, you're afraid to open your 401k statement. So what would another 20% drop do to you and your family's financial future? Did you know that there are options out there that allow you to participate in stock market gains and at the same time be protected from market losses? If you are interested in learning more, make sure to connect with me using my contact information in the description below. Subscribing to this channel and clicking that bell helps you stay up to date and informed. So go ahead and share your comments below on how you feel the state of the US economy is doing. Also share your opinion on Joe Biden and his administration. Make sure to check out this video below to see just how increased unemployment is part of a recession. And I'll see you next time on Ask the Lender.